Now, at the minute, we're going through um, a general election in the UK. Nonsense. Complete crap. We've got a choice of three men, and we've got to pick the least shady of those three men to run us, right? But they don't run us, despite what you have been bred to believe. They will always be my government. Now, I had one of these chaps, a Labour chap, on my front doorstep, and a local campaigner, um, Labour campaigner, um, and I thought, right, I'll discuss this with them, and literally, the woman ran away from my door, ran away now, I know, you know, I'm annoying, right? I do understand how annoying I am, but I'm not going to stop telling you, because I know that the reason you find me annoying, right, is because I'm annoying, but... The reason that people so desperately don't want to hear what I've got to say is that they've all, we have all received this education. That the monarchy is the shit, that nothing can be done, that pick a bloke in a suit, any bloke in a suit, is the one that's going to look after you the best. Please hear me. These people are stuffing you. And we won't ever see change until we change. I'm sorry for using the old catchphrases, but the same stuff has to be said. We won't see change until we change. And policies and legislation, it's bullshit. Grown men stand there calling each other names. That is not the way to progress a civilised society, right? Our society is not civilised because we're not allowed to be civilised. Me, personally, I can't pay my council tax. Miss last month's council tax. This month, when my boyfriend gets paid, I've got to pay double. £180. Right? A third of our monthly wages have got to go on council tax. We are stuffed. My mate is going to have to go to court for it. How many people in this country can actually f afford to pay their poll tax, uh, their council tax? Pay it and not worry, right? Now, you've got your Cheryl Tweedy colleagues, your Simon Kewells, right? You've got your bloody Gordon Bruins, right? That don't have to worry. But to get to that stage, you've got to shit on a huge amount of people to get to there. You have to say goodbye to your heart in order to take things that should be shared for mankind. Now, the reason they're not shared for mankind is because the people who educate us and who send us off to war... Right, the monarchy, despite what you think, right, you can't see them, you couldn't possibly grasp that it could be them because they have educated you to do that. Let's look at the origins of kings and queens, right? One day there were a group of people quite happy, blacksmith doing the blacksmith's job, plumber doing the pl carpenter doing the carpenter's job, the women had sew, the men had hunt, blah de blah de blah. In come your kings and queens, waving a big mighty sword, covered in gold, obviously, got to be gold, right, chopping people's heads off, right, you, and basically they killed people until people stopped saying this ain't fair. And then we calmed down, they set in place a bit an education system that basically had within it lots and lots of tales of tell us we're great, tell us we're great, right? And they're like, well, we, you know what I mean, you give us your money, right? You give us your taxes, right? And what we'll do for you, we'll give you roads, we'll give you sanitation, we'll give you bloody bin men, blah de blah de blah Over the years... More taxes go up, they take more from us, and we get less and less. Now, at the minute, we're getting knack all. Because all of the stuff that belongs to us is being made into bullets and being fired at people in Afghanistan. And I ain't making it up, right? Look at the news. Now, we are suffering a fucking credit crisis, right? Because we're running out of bullets to kill people with. So we have a hoik in the council tax. My mum is a pensioner. I've said it before, right? She's just had a rise in her pension of £1.56. 
as she quite rightly points out, well, I can get a loaf of bread for a pound, but I can't get much to put on it for 56p. Right? But uh, can oh, council tax has gone up by more than pound fifty-six. That's that gone already. You laugh at me because you're bred to laugh at me. Anybody who says anything is a nut job. Right? So, basically, everybody who's saying that is saying that they could look in the Queen's eyes, right, my direct opposition, right, can look in the Queen's eyes and say that she loves them more than I do, that she wants best for them more than I do, that she is more open and honest than I am. Now, I would like you to look at the logic of that, and I put forth the suggestion that the reason that you think she's better than me is that she's told you to think that and because she sh surrounds herself with shiny things right? both of my boys have been taught it already that if the monarchy didn't set up this system of the way that the world was run we would be nothing more than monkeys they are responsible for us behaving in a civilised manner and what is that civilised manner that we behave in? we teach each other things just because it's on a piece of paper and because we need to do it, otherwise we don't pay the mortgage. We teach each other not to have independent thought. We pull each other down if we do have independent thought. If it's not taught to us by them in power, it can't possibly be true. Bollocks. Bulls. Absolute crap. Look at Mr Cameron. Look at Mr. Brown. Look at Mr. Clegg, for God's sake. Whoever gets in, it will still be my government. My government will sh shall enshrine in law by 2020 to eradicate child poverty. Now, I would like the logical reasoning of how my government can enshrine by 2020 when I don't even know who my government are going to be. Riddle me that. What if Nick Clegg got in and he didn't want to enshrine in law by 2020, the end of child poverty? He ain't got a choice. It's my government. Where is the logic of the head of the church not being accessible to the populace. Riddle me that. Right? Where is the logic of the person in the country so, well, mostly responsible for spreading the words of Jesus? Right? Where's the logic in you not even allow, being allowed to speak to that person without permission? Can't turn your back on her. Oh, who am you? Who the fuck am they? Ask yourself. Who are the monarchy? Why do you love them so much? Because they're just part of Britain and because their symbols are placed absolutely everywhere in our everyday life. We have no choice. We are forced to love these people. I know. I've spent 30 odd years loving these people too. But when you actually have the guts to sit down and think, whoa, hold on a minute, this actually isn't particularly fair. These people sit in with multiple houses that have hundreds of rooms in. When other people in the country, don't tell me that these people ain't evil, right? When they can sit... When they can be woken up by a bag player, pipe player in the morning, when they can throw most of their potatoes away so that they can be barrel cut with exactly seven sides. Don't tell me that these people are fair and on our side when they sit there surrounded by slaves and there are people outside their house who sleep in cardboard boxes. It could be changed by them that easily it always has been they invaded our country 
killed people until they stopped arguing back, and then educated the rest to educate each other for the ever and more day in how to be dumb. <laughs>